grade 8 math number 2.1c multiplying and the product rule for integer exponents. The product rule for exponents and it's called the product rule because the answer in multiplication is a product so this is for multiplying with exponents. The product rule for exponents says for any positive integers m and n a to the m power times a to the n power is going to equal a to m plus n. See how they got added together? So if the bases are the same, the powers get added together. We keep the same base number and just add the exponents. So if it was 3 to the second power times 3 to the fourth power, 3 is the same base number. See? So we just add the exponents together. See that? When we're multiplying integers with positive exponents, we just add the exponents together. We do not multiply the bases when they're the same. We don't do 3 times 3. Here's why. If we have 3 to the second power, that means we've got 3 times 3. And if we've got 3 to the fourth power, that means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Well, if we're multiplying them together, that just means that we've got 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times, see, it's 3 times 6. It's 3 to the sixth power. All we're doing is adding up how many threes we've got because the bases are the same. We're just adding a couple of more to that exponent of four and making it a six. See? We're, this dot is no different than that dot or that dot or that dot. See? It all means multiply. So we don't multiply the bases when they're the same, okay? All right, so take a look at this one. We've got five to the fourth power and five to the third power. Because the bases are both five, Basically, all it means is 5 to the 4 plus 3rd power. So it's 5 to the 7th power. If we've got 5 to the 4th, which is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, and we've got 5 to the 3rd power, which is 5 times 5 times 5, really, these are all times each other, aren't they? So we're just adding a few more 5s to the exponent. See? So now it's 5 to the 7th, because we've got 7 5s here. We're just adding more 5s to that exponent. Take a look at this one. We've got 4 to the 3rd power times 4 to the 2nd power. 4 to the 3rd power means 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the 2nd power means 4 times 4. So it just means we have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. We've got 4 to the 5th power, see? We don't multiply the bases together. We just add the exponents because the bases are the same. We now have 4 to the 5th power. Both have 4 for the base. We just add the exponents. So remember, the product rule for exponents tells us to just add the exponents when the bases are the same. See? And it's rightly named the product rule because that's the answer in multiplication. It's a product. So it tells us this is for multiplying exponents. But you have to remember, it's when the bases are the same, okay? Both of these bases are the same, these are the same, these are the same, okay? All right, we're going to talk about the zero exponent rule in our next video, and I'll explain that one to you, okay? Bye.